So hello guys, I'd like to introduce you to my new friend. This is the Pelican Premium Ketchum 100. This thing is freaking awesome. This is gonna be my go-to boat for like say when the water's too high in the creeks and I can't go fishing for trout, I can get on some of these like little lakes and I can go after northern and bass and other little species of fish, even you know perch and sunfish, crappies, you name it. Um, anyways, this is 10 feet long. It weighs a total of 53 pounds. Um, it's really easy to lift. I mean, I can take it right out of the truck and carry it down here, no problems whatsoever. Um, it has, you know, it's placed, uh, well, this right here is something extra I bought. I bought like a, a little catch thing here so I won't lose my my, uh, my paddle. That was a big thing for sure. It has spots where I can put my both my net and my lanyard for my uh, behemostat, my scissors, you know, for cutting my line and getting everything done. It has a spot back here where I can put a light at, and that's what this is right here. It's here set up so I can have a light here set up so when I'm out in here it's starting to get near dusk you know the state of Minnesota wants you to have a light that's uh, I think it was 56 lumens and this one here's a hundred so that'll work out really well for me um, I also got a place there to put my pole and I also got a you know an attachment there for like this one here for to keep my pole from flying overboard you know like if I hit it or something which is really important it's got a compartment in the front. It has a compartment in the front where if you put like a plastic bag in there to keep your stuff dry, I don't think it'll keep it spotless dry. It's not sealed to that, but otherwise from that, it's uh, it, it's pretty sweet. I have a little hookup on the front of my boat where I have a mounted for a GoPro so I can have a GoPro pointing at me when I'm out here. Um, otherwise from that, it has a little compartment back here in the back where you can put your tackle box or a cooler or stuff like that when you wanna take it with you. Uh, the capacity on this thing is kind of cool. It's 350 pounds. For how much it can, you know, the weight, uh, how much person it can fit in here. And I'm like 260 right now from the coronavirus and eating too much junk food. But anyways, uh, with me in here, it's like no problem. I fly through the water like it's no big deal. So um, basically, I just wanted to take a quick video to show you my new toy. Uh, no more rowboats for me. I got a 16-foot aluminum rowboat up there. It's just like, oh, it's such a hassle. And it's just a pain to paddle it around. But this thing here is like a breeze. I can just like shoot all over the place out here and it's fantastic but uh yeah check it out i am i'm definitely happy uh you're gonna be seeing future videos of this me out here using this uh in just different lakes and we'll see how it goes also i picked up a uh, onyx uh m24 life jacket it's one of these kind that has a co2 cartridge in the bottom of it it lays pretty flat to your body which is freaking awesome because i didn't want to have some big jumbo uh, life jacket or bulky thing that I had to put on like a like an actual jacket I wanted something that was just gonna go over nice and easy and fit me just perfectly and that's what this thing does uh, and all you gotta do is just pull this little switch here when you if you run into trouble and pop overboard and poosh, it blows right up it's just like Chris Farley in that movie Tommy Boy you know when he he's on the plane and he puts a little air thing on and he pulls it down and it <laughs> chokes him out Being down on the tab <laughs> 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 Anyways, yeah, this thing is totally cool. It's got compartment sides up in here where I can put like a, uh, like a GPS and stuff like that and depth finders. But I already have a, a depth finder. I have a deeper app and a deeper ball. And I can use that anywhere I'm at out here. And it's pretty good for its range. And it picks up the fish and, you know, it tells you what's on the bottom. And it kind of maps everything out, which is kind of nice. Then it kind of like records your session when you're out. And you can kind of look at it later to kind of see what everything that you missed or... You know, something you might have missed on the bottom and kind of remember some of the points that you've been to on the water, which is freaking awesome. Um, we're going to be taking this also up in some trout streams. Uh, we're thinking about doing the Kenny Connect. It's like an eight-mile gorge that you can go through. And it's supposed to have spectacular views and some awesome trout in there. Uh, let's think about taking that with Randy Catmiller from uh, Go Midwest Fishing. We're going to get together and do it and put, uh, you know, get out there and have some fun. Anyways, guys. 
And also I wanted to say that the seat is unbelievably comfortable. You can have it in the up position where it's actually up higher in the kayak, which I really don't like. I tried it the other day and kind of took it out there and just kind of give it a little trial out on the water. And when I had it on the upper area, I was like, ooh, I was tipping all over the place. It says in here that you're supposed to be able to stand up in this thing. And I think if you're like 100 pounds and you're a lot shorter guy and stuff like that, and I'm 6'7 and 260, I don't think I'm going to be able to stand up in this thing. I tried, and I about like capsized it, and that's like not going to happen again. I've got it on my knees on this thing, and it was okay. So I did take it out one time and give it a shot. But uh, the seat, though, is just amazing. It's super comfortable. Padded. It's beautiful. Nice straps in there, you can adjust it. You can, you can either lean it back or lean it forward. But otherwise from that, this is just this is just a fantastic little boat. I just want to introduce you to my new friend here and the, uh, the new toy for the show. If I can't get out on the trout stream because it's flooded and the water's too high and I can't get out there and have fun and do what I need to do, I can take this thing down to any little lake or stream or whatever and jump in it and go for a, a little cruise. And since it's under 10 feet, I don't even need to have, the have it registered or have a license on it or nothing. So it works out really cool. So anyways, guys, I'm going to like get this camera off here, and I'm just going to get out there and go and do a little bit of fishing before it gets dark. I got like maybe an hour, and I just figured I might as well get out and have a little fun. So uh, yeah, until the next time I see you, thank you for joining me.